Hi, I'm Sue. I'm a member of the Mindfulness Month for Kids and Families Dream Team. Uh, my company is called Budding Buddhist Kids Yoga. And this month we're talking about transitions. We're transitioning from school year to the summer. It's a fun, super exciting time and a little unnerving for some kids. So one of the things we do to make it smooth is set goals for the summer, maybe goals for next year. What, are, what is a goal that they can use? Um, for instance, one of the goals may be sorting out their markers um, and all their art supplies. So they know what kind of arts and crafts supplies they have for summer arts and crafts. Another goal may be reading a book every week. And at the end of six books, they give themselves a, or we give them a, you know, something special. Um, so goals are great. You can set goals for the following year. We also, if they're a little older, the children, we talk about what kind of qualities does it take to achieve that goal. So for our older kids, they, we, we discuss what kind of qualities so that we can achieve the goal. And that's mindful and thoughtful. So there are many different things we can do to get make transitions fun and comfortable. And that's one idea. Who's next? Me. Hi, I'm Lanny from Full of Joy Yoga and Mindful Yoga Breaks. And um, something that I've been using a lot in the classroom that seems to be working with a lot of the students is they love the idea of a superhero breath. So when, when kids are feeling a little nervous or worried or anxious about the changes that are going to be taking place, they start acting out in the classroom because they're unsure of what's coming next and, and different routines. And so when I so when we teach a lot of the breathing exercises, they're used to doing like the more uh, common breaths, like if they do you know a flower breath or take five breaths. But when you bring in something that's a little more familiar to them, that makes them feel safe or or is even more fun, like a superhero character. Or I'm right now, you know, all the Marvel movies are out, so the kids are really into them. So and they love making them up. So. With Mindful Yoga Breaks, we have a set of car, a card deck with six breaths in it, but the kids have actually been helping me make up new ones. So we've done all the newer characters and it's all they want to do. And then I tell them like, go home, make up your own breaths to other characters that you really like. It could be characters from a book, it could be Pokemon, other shows that they watch and make up a breath to go with that. Because when they're feeling uh, like these transitions get them worried about things that are unfamiliar to them, the expectation, they, they don't know what's coming next. At least they have this thing that they can hold on to that makes them feel safe, that's familiar, that they can use to help calm them. And then they can do it anywhere and they're pretty fun to do. So maybe at the end we should all do one of our new superhero breaths. <laughs> So that's the tool that I like to use. And my son here, he loves that, those superhero breaths. He makes them up. And according to him, I don't do them properly. He does them the right way. So that's the best part of it. Everybody has it the way that they do it that feels good to them. So there really isn't a right or a wrong way. And I like the point that you brought up, Lanny, about keeping what is familiar because that's what I do. You can see behind me is my very colorful bus that me and my family live in. And we're most often in transition. And so what helps us transition from either place to place, there's Bill, <laughs> um, is um, keeping things that are familiar and that for my kids is swimming. So being on swim team and being in the pool. So everywhere we go, I sign them up for swim team. Um, and it's also like keeping the same bedtime, you know, because that's familiar and it's the same routine and keeping the same meal plan. Um, that's the same. They know that they're having tacos on Tuesday because it's Tuesday taco night. Uh, <laughs> and so that helps them with the transition because even though the outside um, is different, um, everything else is familiar. So that might be one thing that could help.
transition from school to summer. And so some of the things that I like to do with my family um, in the ritual of transitioning, because the end of the year is so busy for so many kids that I teach yoga to, to my family, like we're just shifting and changing so quickly, going from one grade to the next, from one activity to the next, that it can be overwhelming. So some things that we do is we share our gratitude. So just five things that we're grateful for. That's something that's really a very mindful way for us to connect to the present moment. Just taking a little bit of time to just explain what are we grateful for so we can be grounded in the present moment and not so far ahead of us that we're lost in all the busyness of the year in transition. And then also just knowing that we have summer camps ready and ready to go. So they have another routine that they'll be going into that they're really familiar with. And they've been going to the same summer camp where they do a lot of really fun activities. And we, as kids yoga teachers, we teach in yoga summer camps as well and run summer camps too. So it's really nice to be able to have the familiarity of yoga, mindfulness, and meditation for children during summer as well. So those are some of the things that we do um, to help to transition from school to summertime. Great. So bridging, bridging that gap of what Kimberly just said and the goal setting, um, one of the things you can do with your kids is visualization. Have them visualize their summer. Have them visualize what makes them happy. Have them visualize themselves embodying the qualities that it takes to reach a goal or to do what they want to do to be the best person they can be. So that's a mindful, you know, yogic type of activity. And let's end with Lanny doing one of her um, superhero okay. grunts with us. <laughs> all right, let's see if this works here. I'm gonna, you don't see my head, I don't think, but it's all right. There we go. I'm going to do, this has been a real favorite right now. I'm going to see if I can scooch this back. Is Black Panther. Yeah. So we inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then my girls that I teach turned it into a, like a yoga pose, kind of move, like flowing, like we went like this. And then we went... Beautiful. Oh, lovely. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. So here you go. Like these kids, they just take it and run with it and they turn it into their own. So. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love so it. creative. Yeah. Wow. So in conclusion, um, transitions are fun and exciting and scary. Scary. And scary. Yeah. <laughs> so reach out to us if you have any questions about how to help your children transition into these fun summer months. And just reach out with any other yoga or mindfulness questions and ideas you have. All right. Thank See you soon. Thank mindfulness you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. You.